throws people off. Well, I'm going to show you, tell you. The thing is, people think because they don't say America. Now, they all the other nations that have nations, some of the nations in the Bible. Well, just like uh, the Bible speaks a lot on ancient Rome, but they never mentioned Rome by name. Like in the, when you read the book of Revelation. I knew the six existing on the UPC symbols. Yeah. And the other ones are with the six on one side, and then it used to be the six numbers. And the right. Six on the right. Yeah, well, that's, that that goes into the mark of the beast system. That goes back to the computers. Yeah. And that's true. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 you know what they are. Yeah, which is the one about America? Okay, let me get America. America comes from America's in the Bible under uh, many names. It's many names. And um, Babylon is the main one. Babylon. Babylon, Egypt. Not the one in Iraq? Well, the great Babylon. That's ancient Babylon. And check this out, because the book of Revelation refers, refers to ancient Rome as the great Babylon and the great red dragon. And America is the reincarnation of the ancient Roman Empire. That's why when you look on the back of your dollar bill, everything is written in Latin, the language of the Roman. That's why when you look at the state house downtown, what is it? It's a Roman temple. Okay. Oh yeah, that's why there's an eagle on the back of a dollar. The Roman legions carried the, uh, the eagle in the battle on their battle stand. Excuse me. Here you go. Oh yeah. See, see that, e that eagle on the back of a dollar? That's the, that's the eagle of Zeus. That's the, the Zeus is evil. And just like it says, oh, what does it say on the back? It says, e is you. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You think this government cares about little kids? Oh, see. Think this government cares about little kids? That Sandy Hook thing. Let's be realistic here. That Sandy Hook thing was a false flag. The government staged that shooting at Sandy Hook and killed all those little children just so they could take your uh, firearms away from you, take your guns away from you. So 9-11 too, you're saying the government? Well, that's yeah, that's a ob that's an obvious one. That one was real obvious. I mean, be because first of all, they said it was uh, all Saudi Arabian terrorists that uh, that blew up the two, uh, twin towers. But then they invaded Afghanistan, not Saudi Arabia, and then they invaded Iraq. Why didn't they invade Saudi Arabia if it was the Saudi and Arabians who did it? So the twelve tribes of Israel. How come you're you're uh, associating them with? Uh, like West Indies and Haitians. Well, that's just, Israelites. That's, they're Israelites. They all uh, show the char characteristics of the Israelites. Okay. Let me read this for you. Okay. This is, um, hey, read this Re Revelation. Which one? 17? 17 or 18. It doesn't 17 matter. 17 is good. Read that. Okay. Uh, this is Revelation 17 and 3. So he carried started me away. Start at 1. Start at 1. Okay, that's good. And there came, Revelation 17 and 1, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. The great, the great whore. Right. Now, the great whore, like America is known as the great whore. Even one of America's main symbols is a Statue of Liberty, which was a woman. What up, dude? Okay. Hey, keep going. Oh, what's up, homie? What's up, man? I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon uh, many waters. And now, America oh, no. sits upon Nine, many four, waters. Six. That's uh, that's why. Well, you have a Pacific you know, Ocean on one side. Coast. You have the Atlantic Ocean. Coast. Coast. Yeah, I had a that's zoom number. Uh, yeah, almost Nine, all the major seaports are in America. The, uh, the yeah, World Trade Center is in America. I live on 20. Well, America is the, the, the top uh, okay. country in the world. Yeah, Just sure. like ancient Rome was the top country in the world. Damn, I thought I heard Keep someone yelling my name. Whom the kings yeah. of the earth are committed for Yeah, you told me. All the kings. The Bible's giving yeah. the kings. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the brothers explain it to you. Oh, yeah. Keep going. With whom the kings of the earth have committed for the kings. It looks like you're getting bigger. And the inhabitants What's of up, the earth have been made drunk with the wine of the earth. Yeah, I'd say on the west side. Oh, 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 oh that's cool, man. Go ahead, read that again. With whom the kings yeah, of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. That wine of the fornication. The whole world is drunk on the American way of life. Like uh, like Hollywood. The Hollywood movies are nothing but filth. Uh, the, when, any Hollywood movie you watch, what's in it? Filth, adultery, blasphemy, murder. Okay. Uh, Right, democracy, right. Like all the music from America. What, what do all the singers sing about? All they sing about is adultery, uh, murder. Like all the rappers, they don't rap about 
killing people, stealing, robbing. Right. All the heavy metal singers worship Satan. And then the whole world embraces the American philosophy. Oh, I know, right? Oh, yeah, it's the devil horns, right? <laughs> what is Are there bulls? See the five-point star? Well, the, the, well, actually, the, uh, the devil horns come from the bull because back in the ancient world, you had uh, something known as the bull god. That the ancient Israelites, uh, when they was uh, when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments and get the law, he came back and he found the Israelites <laughs> worshiping a golden calf, which is the bull god, and Moses smashed it to pieces. So the reason the devil has horns, you know, all the pictures of the devil, because that goes back to the ancient world, and they all worship the bull god. Like the ancient Egyptians, they worshiped the Apis bull. You ever hear the Apis bull? The ancient Babylonians worshipped uh, Marduk. He was represented as a bull. Even Zeus sometimes is represented as a bull. You know, you know what I mean? Yep. Okay. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, yep. full of abomination and filthiness right. of her fornication. You they say America's the most wealthiest nation upon the planet. First of all, when you talk about the, the city on the 10, the 10, the, you know, sitting on the 10. You mean, you mean the seven, seven. The, 10. the seven. It talks about the 10 over there. That's talking about Rome. Where the you seven know, hills of Rome. The, the, the seven the, hills of Rome. Second the over there, you have Levi listed as a tribe. Levi was one of the sons. Get Revelation was seven. Not one of the twelve. Was not one of the twelve tribes. All right, one second, one second. I'm gonna address the point you made. Uh, so in other words, I mean, even in your pie chart here. All right, hold on one second. The twelve tribes of Israel. Levi was not a tribe. You have Ephraim <laughs> and you. Uh, he has a PhD. It's okay, it's okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, we're, we're going to uh, get Revelation 7 and hold that. But let me explain something. Now, I just previously, previously told you. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of this. In other words, okay. that, that verse usually refers to Rome. Where is the temple? What hill Rome. was the temple of Zeus at? Or temple to Jupiter? What hill was that on? Well, I mean, you have this. I'm not sure which. It was which on the Capitoline Hill. Now, where's the capital? Capitol Hill. And one of the hills in ancient Rome was Capitol Hill. Just like in Washington, D.C., the, 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 the Capitol building is called Capitol Hill. And Thomas yeah. Jefferson said he named it after the ancient Roman temple because I told you America is the continuation of the Roman Empire. That's why all, when you go to court, if, to become a lawyer, you have to know Latin. All, all the legal terms are all in Latin. Right, right. Okay. We're, we're living in a Roman system. That's why the Marine Corps' motto is Semper Fidelis. Okay, because the, the Marine Corps is the reincarnation of the ancient Roman legion. Okay? Now read Revelation 7. Yeah, re read Revelation uh, 7, start from the top. Because you, you are correct. At uh, one time, uh, Levi was not uh, technically a tribe. It's not technical. I mean, it's, well, it's not. He's not one of the tribes. Because they're the priests. So but let's read what Revelation 7 says. Read that. Okay. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on, on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. That's talking about referring to the destruction that's coming, but go ahead. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea. What you got, seven? Yeah, seven. Right, keep going, keep going. Revelation 7 and 3, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. That's right, why we're out here to wake up the servants. That's the 144,000. We're not trying to wake up everybody. We don't want to wake up everybody. Well, the you scriptures know, say, uh, few shall be saved. Right, Keep right. going. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Now this is the number of who was sealed. Yeah, keep going. 66, 000, All right, keep that. going. And there 12, were still 140. 144. Now listen, let, let's just read, it, read it really fast if you can. And there were still 144,000. 144,000. Keep going. Of all the tribes. Of all the tribes. Of the going. children of Israel. Keep going. Of the tribe of Judah. 
for a sale, 12,000. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Just read through it real quick. Of the Trap of Esser, for a sale, 12,000. The Trap of Nagali, yep. 12,000. Manessa, 12,000. Simeon, 12,000. Of the Trap of Levi. Of the Tribe of Levi. For a sale, 12,000. So now Levi is considered the tribe now. Okay. If you notice too, the tribe of Dan is not in that right there. Right. Even though the tribe of Dan is obviously still going to get saved because they're Israelites. You know? Yeah, the Dan's mixed amongst the 12 anyway. Because they're actually, actually, technically, if you really get into it, there's 13 tribes. Yeah. Actually. Because you can read in the Apocrypha, you know about the Apocrypha? And it, it tells you in Apocrypha that the, the 10 tribes, they left the land of Israel and went to a actually came over to the Americans, okay? But it tells you, but three tribes stayed back, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And plus the 10 tribes are lost, you add three plus 10 is 13, okay? Well, that's because Joseph got the double ship. Well, that's that too. So yeah, yeah, Joseph is Ephraim and Manasseh. That's why in the book of Revelation, it doesn't say Ephraim nor Manasseh, it says of the tribe of Joseph. So do you know that the Bible uh, in the Old Testament and, uh, just talks about thermonuclear war? Yes, that's, that's all through the Bible. And that's America mainly. America yeah, is Israel. America is Is it Nabal? Is it Nabal or Agatai? Excuse me? One of the last yes. books of the Bible is Nabal or... Oh Nabal? yeah, Nabal. Well, it talks about your flesh melting. That's, an, uh, that's, that, that's Zachariah. That's only the only thing missiles can cause that. Oh, you're right about that. There's a lot of people who think, like with the, with the revelations, that it was actually fulfilled already. No. Because it was either, no. but, you know, during the time of, of the Roman Empire, uh, I'm not sure if it was Nero or whatever, when the city of Rome was, was destroyed, right. but that was actually it. had to separate. One was taken and the other was left behind. Mm -hmm. and that's typically interpreted as the rapture. Well, there are some people. Who, there are some I tell you why that can't work. There are some people. That's what I'm saying. Right. You go ahead. Go ahead. You, you have, you know, one is taken and one is left. People think, oh, that's the rapture coming. Right. Over there is a certain. Well, type hold up a second. Right. I gotta that tell you something. That, no, that didn't. You know, that happened right. back in the time. But the right. reason oh, that no. doesn't work out is because the Book of Revelation was written in like 90 A.D. And when Nero was uh, emperor in like 68 in, in other words, there's some people that the question that's, that's is all. how much of Revelation is applicable to the time right after well, it's talking and how much of it is, is prophecy and how much is it. Right. Well, a lot of it is talking seven, about ancient Rome. Seven, you know, a lot, a lot of the Revelation is talking specifically yeah. about ancient Rome. I already, t I already stated that yeah. previously. Yeah. Here you go. Let me okay. finish it. Revelation 17 to 5. And upon her forehead was a name written. Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, America, and abominations now, of the Now, is earth. America not the mother of harlots? Now, in America, it's legal for a woman to commit adultery. For thousands of years, in all civilizations, adultery was punishable by death. And sodomy was punishable by death. Man, in America, homosexuals can freely walk down the street. Free. Hell, they're, they're, they get just, rights. Starting today, the gay pride parade. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, when they, the whole weekend. And this was a. Yeah, they got entertainers coming from out of town. Coming right. To this thing, man. So, so America uh, fits the description perfectly. That's right. Here you go, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So America is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. That's also why you have an Egyptian pyramid on the back of a dollar. Now the Bible tells us that the Egyptians were wicked and evil, and they, the Bible tells us many times, don't follow the ways of the Egyptians. And if America is a God-fearing nation, why is there an Egyptian pyramid with the eye of Horus on the back of a dollar? Yeah, right. Common sense. Right. right. This is not a Christian nation, it, nor nor was it founded as a Christian nation. America was founded by uh, theists, people who didn't even believe in the Bible whatsoever. Okay. But they, they use the Bible in the front. Right. Yeah. Well, Just like the Jews is doing in well, I mean, you, a lot of the secret society. But it's Freemasons. And, and, and there's a question of how much is applicable because the Bible does talk about, you know, at uh, the, the last day, the big battle was at Megiddo, Armageddon, Armageddon, Armageddon. and uh, the Og and Gag Magog, which is uh, actually, Og and Magog, which is actually in Turkey. I actually went through that city. And they talk about all the horses, you know, that are are a part of that battle. And you and you know that, you know, we don't use horses on the combat, you know, 
So they use horsepower. I, well, I'm just saying there's there's a question on to what extent it's applicable and what's not applicable. And you know hey, who knows uh, the answers to all these things? None of us. If we have no, we do. I mean, I mean, you have to believe. I mean, you know, I mean, if you don't believe, you gotta believe what you gotta believe. Yeah, you, exactly. If you don't believe, then that's on you. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stand here and say what you're saying is necessarily incorrect because there's different ways of interpretation. So. Uh, God there's a, there's only one interpretation. Huh? Yeah. The Bible says there's either a truth or there's a lie. Truth or a lie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is the truth. Let me get this scripture. That's why it seems like a culture shock to, to most people. You know? But the truth and is. And obviously Jesus was not white. Exactly. It's not. You don't really need to. If he was here right now, you'd, you'd look. Yeah. Oh, that's a so-called nigga. I won't. I won't. Get, Most people, oh, that's a nigga. The cops will try to frisk him. <laughs> right, the cop, right. But just right. like the Romans get, you yeah. know, gave him a hard way to go. That's go right. Look at this guy. Habuku 2 and 12. Woe wo, wo to him that buildeth a town with blood and establishes a city by iniquity. Let me get this. That's America's whole history right there. America was established on blood, slavery, genocide. And they, they, they. Obama is sending troops back into Iraq right now as we speak. Yeah, but the only thing I'll, I'll just say this about, about America, and I, I, have, I lived overseas for 10, 11, 12 years. I visited a lot of countries. I, I visited a lot of Islamic countries. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of places where you would not have the freedom to disagree with. With, that's good though. Yeah. So that's good. That's true. but that's why the Lord did not place us in those countries. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a good, you know what it's man? a good thing we don't be. We gotta go. I used to be a student here, and it was so great to be able to see the variety and the different people uh, talking and stuff. So God bless you all, and uh, good luck in um, with your. With take it easy. Crazy, Adios. Don't crazy take crazy the microchip. You know, you, you gonna take the microchip? No, no, I know, I knew about that years ago. The 666 <laughs> yeah. thing, and yeah. I went on all my little <laughs> things and found out where they're all located. So let me tell you something, like so when, when when these trucks can't bring the food in, there's riots, race, because there's race wars going on, it's coming. I mean, you can see the, the atmosphere yeah. is rising from that right now. It's right for the people right now. You know, so but are, are you saved? No, no, none of us say yeah. None of us no, say Do you believe? Do you believe there's a sacrifice for atonement? Do you believe Jesus provided a sacrifice for atonement? Yeah. yeah. And you've accepted that? Yeah, of course. That's why we're out here. Is the Holy Spirit living in you? That's why we're out here. All right, well, God you bless you. Like then I'll call your brother and say God bless you. 21, <laughs> Nidal, Clintonville, All right, Georgia, so. downtown. Hey, hey, you got more sense than most people. Like he said, he really ain't got no sense. You about to go eat a bacon sandwich. Nah, he didn't want to hear you. He didn't want to hear you straight. Because in his mind, he did that pride because he got his PhD. What did he say he had a PhD? His well, pride, you can't teach him nothing. Yeah, that's because they that's what that bullshit they teach in the colleges. Is, is that the, <laughs> everything in Revelation already happened back in the ancient Roman Empire. I'm, I'm, we already know about people teaching that. Exactly. But he tried to say the book of Revelation was about about uh, the, the destruction spoken of in Revelation was talking about Nero. When right. Nero lived like 30 years before the book was written. He didn't know it He said Gog and Magog was Turkey. Man, Gog and Magog did live in Turkey, but it's really talking right. about yeah. Russia. Well, it's talking about Russia. Uh, Gog and Magog, I thought that was originally uh, the Jaffa. Jaffa. The Jaffa. Jaffa was in Turkey? Yeah, well, that. Greece, Turkey, yeah, Russia. I didn't know that. The whole that, area. I thought it was up in. Well, Gr Turkey was part of Greece. Ancient Greece. No, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, half of it. Ha not, it wasn't all well, Japanese. Because you, know, right, you had the Hittites right, that live over right, there, too. Right, 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 Turkey's right, a big ass country. That wasn't just all the same people living there. Because you, know I mean? you had Israelites in Turkey. That's all that's in Turkey. Yeah, that's all that's in Turkey. Because right then the Greeks conquered uh, the Trojans. Well, the Trojans were pretty much related to the Greeks. I think they were all Israelites, Trojans and the Greeks. Because they tell you in the Iliad and the Odyssey, they all had the same custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they show you in that movie, y'all seen that movie Troy with uh, uh, Brad Pitt? Yeah, yeah. Oh, watching that movie, yeah, watching that movie Troy, and they got statues of Apollo in that movie, and they depict Apollo as a black man. And they show you the statue, it got great. You know what I'm saying? And the Greeks depicted Apollo as a black man too. 
The Greeks often showed Athena as a black woman. Yeah, I seen a lot of uh, art. Ooh, it's right there now. Uh, the the, the so-called Athena that was tent black a lot of her faces. That's why they do a. Uh, yeah, because that's really reference. Go back to the uh, worshiping of that the the, the goddess. Really go back to the Queen of Heaven. You know what I mean? That's why they show uh, the Catholic Church has something called the Black Madonna or the Black the Black Mary. You seen that right? Y'all seen the Black Mary, ain't you? Yep. But that Russia really, got a uh, it's a famous picture in there. The Russia. But that that the church with the Black Mary. But that really represents uh. The Queen of Heaven, actually. But I mean, it still proves, you know, that not everybody was fucking white people. But they try to say everybody in Europe was all white people. Yeah, Europeans. <laughs> yeah. And hey, hey, they try to throw that bullshit out at us. Oh, he got his PhD. Like, that's supposed to be intimidating and shit. You know what I mean? You can take Just because your... you quote the Bible, don't mean you know the fucking Bible. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'll take that PhD and wipe my ass with it. And right. then smear it in your fucking face, man. Yeah, that's, that's what it's good for. That's all it's good for is a piece of paper. That's why he got his ass up out of here. He got out of here, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that must have been his daughter, was that? That was his daughter. She looked kind of good for a thick girl. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. You gotta lose some weight, she looked all right. I'm supposed to feed that dumb ass two little kind of fucking sausage. You know, they all eat pork, they eat rock worse. Pork, yeah. ham. You got, you got a PhD in it. How do you eat pork? Yeah, right, right. So, uh, so the Bible, he, he, God, he God blessing you. Right. Yes, ain't God blessing you. You got the Holy Spirit in you. <laughs> he asked it because he he must think he has the Holy Spirit. Yeah, right. And he's an expert on the Bible. Why are you eating pork, motherfucker? <laughs> right. People are crazy, man. People you are got, crazy, man. Got a PhD, you by uh, eating pork. <laughs> These colleges are a fucking joke, man. Joke. A Every fucking joke. And then he made the stupid ass comment. He went to this university and he loves, he appreciates and loves seeing how the most different cultures can mix. What the fuck is man. that? We were just talking about that when your dumb ass walked up. America's Mystery Babylon. Yeah. All these people mixing amongst each other. I got another good point too on these universities. Oh, man. What's wrong? Back hurting? Yeah. I can take that for a minute. I mean, you see me. Yeah, stay in the grass. Shit, I'm back up a little bit. But yeah, another point about these universities, I listen to a lot of technology podcasts about computers and shit. But check, but check this out. All these uh, te tech companies, they say that every time they get a, a new employee that just is fresh out of college, they gotta retrain them and reteach them everything. Like for the computer programmers. They say they don't teach you a damn thing in college. Mm. They, they say they always, there's, no, there's nothing worse than somebody straight out of college. There's a racket because all they're doing is stretching that bullshit out so they can get more, uh, uh, what you call, tuition. Get more money. Mm. You know, it's always a money racket. It's a debt racket. And they charging your ass interest and usury on those student loans. Mm -hmm. But y'all go back to the so-called Jew, the biggest piece of shit on the face of the earth. It's the so-called Jew that's behind all these universities. They, they're the ones who own all the banks that's giving you those loans. Everybody knows it's a so-called Jew that owns all the banks. They print the money. Okay? That's right. That's right. Stupid ass motherfucker. And they're the ones who set, who uh, like a so-called Jew don't believe in the Bible. Oh, I was on SoundCloud. I was listening to this rabbi uh, give a speech on there. And he was talking about the Old Testament, the Torah. And he said that, uh, that his people, the, the so-called Jews, have long had a problem with the Torah. And that they despised it. He actually said that. He said they despise it. And that they're keeping the laws were very grievous to them. Yeah. So, so, so he said, I have a new teaching for you. Yeah, so that, so. Since they hate the Torah so much, they have to come out with the Talmud. That's right. Because, hey, I mean, it's not given to them anyway, so it would be like a, a burden, you know, a bother to do it. Man. Freaking weird. It ain't gonna benefit them because they ain't gonna get saved. Well, I, gonna show you that they I hate the devils. Fuck. They can't do it. It's hard for them to do nice and shit. Yeah, so called Jews, the yeah, biggest right. piece of shit, man. That's what it is to keep the law, the righteous act. 
The so-called Jew, they'll never teach the name of the Lord. Here it is the Bible tells you to proclaim the name of the Lord throughout the whole earth. Okay? They, they don't call it, they call the Lord Hashem. And they just say the name. Hashem means the name, yep. literally. And that's what they call God. Hashem. The, the, that's you can read any psalm. Yeah. Oh, look at that Psalms, uh, man, I had that memorized and I forgot. That Psalms, uh, oh, I got this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other. Well, go ahead, read again. Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Mm. Mm. So that's clear, there's only one name, and the name is not the name. You know what I'm saying? Like a Jew would tell you. The name is uh, Yahweh, is the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the Son, the one y'all call Jesus. And the so-called Jews are Antichrist. They don't, they don't even believe in the one you call Jesus, all right? First, they don't even believe in the Most High, okay? They worship Satan. They're a bunch of child molesting faggots. They worship Satan. I got a concordance. You need it. You need a concordance? Look up a word? No, I don't like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah this helps you remember. Yeah, I know. Ain't nothing wrong with cheating. Yeah, you're right, though. You're right, though. Cause you can't, you can't memorize every scripture, man. I know that's right. As much as you try, you, you'll learn a new one and forget an old one. Yeah, that's how it works, yeah. man. That's how it works, too. <laughs> like that one time you were saying, it was funny, come across in, uh, a new scripture. It's so nice to find you come across and learn it. It's like you. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Yeah, I got one. I guess I got a cheat, bro. There's nothing wrong with cheating. Oh, shit. So, you know America's about to be destroyed? You know that? You know the most high about to destroy America? Oh, yeah. If you ain't right, you're going to be roasted. You know you're an Israelite? You know your Israelites? You said what? You're an Israelite? You're yeah. your Israelites. Not Israelites necessarily, but I mean, I'll, I'll be up in the game. Nah, but well, no, your nationality is not. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Because we're the lost. Yeah, no. Okay, right. So they already heard about it. They didn't say. But they don't want to talk about it. That's all right though. Because you know what? When the Lord gets here, they ain't gonna be uh, boring, like you said. Uh, oh man, uh, we did work in your name and whatever, and uh, oh, cast out pretty, demons in yeah, your name. The well, Lord's so. like, well, so motherfucker. Well, I they know you. Because <laughs> what they heard though, they's like, so y'all the Israelites because they watch. Because being, being an Israelite is kind of popular right now. So it's some, some, some people, it's just like something new and cool and trendy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did it. Uh, Matthew 7 and 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. <laughs> and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. There you go. Depart from me, ye that work in That's right. That's right. They're trying to show love like that. They're trying to give, trying to give them what we can. Sharing it, you know, instead of putting it up in a closet or in a lockbox, we're trying to give it all to these fools, man. What's that saying? Uh, don't kill the message. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a right, script, you know I got a script for you. It might be the one you was looking for, I don't know. Where you at? Malachi. That might be it. Hold on. Idea. Malachi 1 and 14. Now let's go back to what we was just talking about. The so-called Jew. They ain't never going to proclaim the name of the Lord. They what is this again? Malachi 1? 1 and 14. It says, but cursed be the deceiver 
which hath in his flock a male and vowed and sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, yes, save the Lord of hosts. My name is dreadful among the heathen. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. That's the, so the Lord's name is dreadful among the heathens. Like the so-called Jews, the rabbis, look, they know the, name, the real, they study the Hebrew. They know what the Lord's name is. Okay, they know his name is Yahweh. They know that. But That's they, right. they, 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 they're not going to say that name. Yeah. They will never, ever utter it. Never. Because they know there's power in that name. They don't want that name getting out there. Yeah. Yeah, I still take it. <laughs> yeah, I take that flat ass. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But you got a lot of Israelites who liken them to a heathen. Yeah, they don't want to teach the name of the Lord. They call uh, call the Lord Jesus and Christ. Or they call him Jehovah. Hell, the black woman is a heathen anyway. Yeah. She's a heathen. Yeah. But the scripture said we, you know, we scattered among the heathen, so they're gonna act like a heathen. That's right. This is the one you were speaking about, man. This is the one in Psalm, Psalm 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. Right. I'm not sure if that's one. No, that's. I mean, there's a couple in there. Yeah. Uh, read that again. That's a good one. Yep. Psalms 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord. And all the kings of the earth are good. So that definitely goes to the so-called Jew. They frightened. They scared to death of the name of the Lord. That's why they call him Hashem. Okay. Because they know their time is coming anyway. Everybody's waking up to the so-called Jew. You get on the internet and you read the comments in the new the, the comment boards, and everybody's talking shit about the so-called Jew. They're not even the real Jews. We're the real Jews. Jews got the hell out of Ukraine too. A lot of them the hell about. Oh yeah, they fleeing Ukraine because they, because the Ukrainians they ain't with that Jew shit, man. They will kill a motherfucking Jew. Because yeah, yeah. that, because during uh, before World War II, you know, during that time period, the so-called Jews they murdered 60 million Christians mm. over there in Ukraine mm. and over there in Eastern Europe. Because mm. your nephew. Mm. Yeah, but they murdered. They want to talk about some goddamn Holocaust that never happened. Well, here it is. They're, they're the true murderers. Because World War II was not to save the Jews, okay? World War II was a so-called Jew war. So the Jews could take down Germany, get take control of Germany and, and the United States. They took off. After World War II, the Jew gained control of pretty much the whole world. The world, yeah. The whole fucking world. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You can see over in Israel, that land, they're pushing the Palestinians further and further out. Yeah. There's an actual map that showed how it was in 1940. Yeah, what was that well, 1968, 68 when they first got control of it? Oh, well, no, they first got control back in the, in the late 40s. There's an actual graph that shows how they, as years go on, <laughs> more and more, well, more yeah. and more of them Palestinians are losing that. They don't belong there anyway, but you know. Because everybody want to talk about racist this and everything. Cause everybody gets called a racist these days. Racist. But the, the biggest racist is the so-called Jew. The biggest devil. Well, the biggest devil, yeah. 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 Now, try to try to go. Well, here in America, they they shipping in Hindus. They 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 uh, importing all kind of Hindus and fucking Muslims into this country. <laughs> but, are, 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 they, are they letting Hindus and Muslims move into Israel? Hell no. Oh, yeah. The only only ones that the citizens are the ones that was already there. But them faggots, them goddamn devils probably low key Muslims anyway, cause they still got a Muslim shrine there. Well, I told did I tell you about Sat the Sabatai, uh, what's his name, Zavi, uh, Zevi Sabatai, Sabatai no, no, Zevi, no. whatever the fuck his name was. Right. Back in uh, during the Ottoman Empire, the so-called Jews said their Messiah was on the scene. One one of their messiahs. His name was, uh, was it Zevi Sabatai? But he was a so-called Jew, but he converted to Islam. <laughs> and that's why you got today, you got something called Sabatinian Jew. And then they followed that guy's teaching. He became a Muslim. So you'll have that. The devil loves giving that Oh, it was in that book. Uh, in that book, you, uh, I still have that book. I never gave back to you. Uh, Eliminate the opium. Oh, yeah. They talked about it in that book. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, Sabbatine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here it is. They said to reach out. The Jews, they said to reach salvation. There's and to become. Listen what they said. They said to become truly spiritual and close to the Most High. You have to totally sin against the Most High and go against. Ooh. They said salvation comes through iniquity. Ooh. It comes through sin. <laughs> that's a devil's wisdom. But that's how they justify their Messiah converting through Islam. They said that he uh he, he showed that he was the Messiah through sinning. <laughs> what kind of fucking sense does that make? The New Testament says the Lord was perfect. Okay, he had never committed a single sin. No. Now one. That's why it was a great sacrifice. That that's why that's why we're able to come back in uh, under the grace. He was without blemish. That's right. Okay, he he didn't convert. There wasn't no goddamn Islam. He wasn't no Hindu. He wasn't no Zoroaster. Bring to Allah. Yeah, he yeah. He, he wasn't Egyptian. Because you got a lot of fools. They were like, well, where was Jesus in the lost years? He was in Egypt studying the Egyptian mystery. Right. <laughs> Man, show me in a Bible where the Lord said anything about Egypt mm. in the New Testament. Show mm. me where He taught you about my yacht and horse. Mm. Show, show me in the New Testament where He said to wrap yourself up like a mummy. Mm. You ain't gonna find it. Mm. Where, where, where are you gonna show me in the New Testament where the Lord said to worship by at the cat god, wow. and worship a bull, and to have sex with your sister? The Egyptians had sex with worship. Or their mother. Yeah. Well, all the pharaohs married their sister. Yeah, yeah. They were a bunch of inbreeders. Yeah. That's the information I have. That uh, how uh, uh, I can't remember who it is. One of them jacked off in the salad of one of them. One of them. <laughs> Had it to man. They some sick motherfuckers. Man. Who did that? The Jews? One of the no, the Egyptian motherfuckers, man. Oh, Egyptian. Some foul yeah. motherfuckers, man. It's like that movie. Uh, uh, Caligula wanted to be Egyptian. Right he sure move. did, because his sister was like, we can't go there and get married. Yep. No, he actually, Caligula wanted to go there, so Yeah, Caligula wanted to do it. Yeah, right, right. Say no, baby. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, he, wanted go, he wanted to go to Egypt. He's a fan. You remember that one part of the movie, they had the, that woman had the, had all the dudes jacking off in the boat? In the car. And she was using a sperm for lotion? <laughs> yes, oh, she was, she was, you ain't seen that movie? Yeah, you ain't seen no. Caligula that? Oh, like that, in that bro, movie. you got to watch Caligula. They actually you, show that shit. They show Jack and I. They show everything. Uh, Sucking dick, eating. Uh, they showing they animals, should, beasts. Out, they, they, they show oh, everything. They show you Caligula stuck his fist up a motherfucker's ass. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the movie is bad, but the it's movie true. What's so great about Caligula is it was uh, it was historically accurate. Wow. You know, it was historically accurate. And they had their hair do right. I used to have it downloaded on my phone so you can watch it, man. It's easy to get on uh, just the fire thing. Mm -hmm. You ain't got fire thing. Oh, you got some shit. I bet, man, you got PS3, don't you? I bet. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Uh, you got a, uh, put it on the network. They got, you got a smartphone? They got it on. No, you got a smartphone? No, I ain't on your game. No, bro, look. You know, you will not be on YouTube. You They got a power button. Yeah, 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 they got a power button. It's got the Pirate Bay app, and you gotta get views of Torrent. Just type in Torrent, yeah, check it out. and you can download. Yeah, you can watch. You can download movies on your phone. Not right? just to watch the porn of the movie, because that's why it's so hot in the motherfuckers of the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just watch it for the, the freaky shit that's going on. The special I, but you gotta go. That movie is bad because Caligula was a an evil motherfucker, man. Yeah. He's Caligula. He, he's here now. We talking about Israel. Yeah, you know you an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. Just, just look up Great Millstone. YouTube. On YouTube. Great Millstone. One word. Roger. Roger. It says Roger. What? Oh, yeah. I like, uh, not that, but yeah, Roger. I like that word. Period. Yeah, Obama got the spirit of Caligula sure. or Nero. Yeah. But I always say Obama is uh, Nimrod. Yeah, he like Nimrod or a Pharaoh. Or a Pharaoh. Exactly. Yeah, they're both Hamites. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But they're all back though, because all these motherfuckers gonna face judgment. Because you, you got a lot of people out there, they teaching up Barack Obama was made from the DNA of Akhenaten. 
and they took the DNA from the mummy, and then that's where Barack Obama came from. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I said, we, 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 in there. we know all the conspiracy theories. There's even some dumbasses that's saying that Barack Obama, a heathen, is Malcolm X's Malcolm son. X. I heard that shit. There's no way in hell Barack Obama's Malcolm X's son. Totally different spirit. Yeah. Totally different spirit. Because first of all, Barack Obama's retarded. Okay? So, the Malcolm X didn't need no goddamn teleprompter. Okay? <laughs> he can give a speech the last 20 hours. No notes or nothing? Yeah, no notes or nothing. Yeah, it's like freestyle. Yeah, just freestyling on your ass. <laughs> well, the so thing is, is when the Israelites go like that, he, he didn't have no truth, but when you got a pastor, when you see your people, the Israelites struggling in this nation or in the world, yeah, hey, that, that passion, it flows, man. That's <laughs> Yeah, because if you need a teleprompter, that means you ain't serious about what you're saying, man. That's all scripted. Everything about, see, Obama's an actor. That's why he reads from a script. That's what actors do. He's just a, he's just a fucking puppet, a paid hireling. He's a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a puppet. Yeah. A puppet for the so-called Jew. Puppet only does what you it, tell it to do. There's a motherfucking Jew devil behind him, like, <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah, a little big ass nose. <laughs>